Congratulations on purchasing the iLays from BioLays Technology. The world's first personal dental laser for soft tissue and hygiene procedures. This video will provide an overview of how to set up and operate the iLays. For complete details on the iLays, please refer to your user manual. Begin by unpacking and setting up your iLays system. Inside the box, you will find a charging station, a power supply with plugs for the charging station, a handpiece carrying case, which contains a handpiece with cover and two batteries. If you have purchased a system with two handpieces, you will find the second handpiece placed below the first handpiece that you see. Also included is an additional cover for each handpiece, one box of single-use, non-sterile tips, an extra pack of cover grips for the handpiece cover, tip initiation blocks, three pairs of laser safety glasses for each handpiece, two pairs for clinicians, and one darker pair for the patient, an eye lays cleaning kit, a laser safety sign, and a user manual. Before we start the eye lays, there is important information about eye safety that you need to know. The eye lays produces laser radiation that can be hazardous to the human eye. The nominal ocular hazard distance, or NOHD, measures the level of laser hazard. It is a calculation of the closest direct distance from which the laser light may be safely viewed by an unprotected eye. The NOHD for the eye lays is 2.6 meters, or about 8.5 feet. This means that everyone in a room where you use the laser must wear laser safety glasses. The eye lays system comes with laser safety glasses especially designed to protect eyes from the particular wavelength of the eye lays laser. Using other laser safety glasses, even ones designed to block a similar wavelength, may provide no protection at all. Use only the eye lay safety glasses supplied with your laser or those purchased through BioLays or an authorized BioLays distributor for use with the eye lays laser. Before using the eye lays, we should set up the charging station and charge batteries. Place the charging station on a surface where it will not be disturbed or come in contact with liquids or contaminants. Then, insert the power plug into the back of the charging station. And then, insert the other end into an AC power outlet. Place the batteries into any of the receptacles. Up to four batteries may be charged simultaneously, whether or not an iLay's handpiece is connected to it. Either side of the battery may be inserted into the charging station. There is no positive or negative side. An orange LED below the battery indicates that the battery is being charged, and a green LED indicates that a battery is charged and ready for use. It takes less than one hour to charge a battery. The handpiece cover protects the main body, provides a grip for the finger switch, and accepts tips for delivery of laser energy. Before attaching the cover, make sure that it has been cleaned and sterilized. Slide the cover on the main body until it snaps completely onto the small bump. To remove the cover, simply pull it off from the handpiece. Non-sterile tips for the eye lays are available in three diameters, 200, 300, and 400 microns, and they come in three different types, perio, endo, and surgical. The tips applied for the eye lays are not sterile, and the packaging is not suitable for autoclaving. You should sterilize your tips in an autoclave prior to use. You will find recommended cleaning and sterilization specifications in the user manual. Insert the tip into the open end of the cover and turn clockwise to tighten it. Make sure the tip extends straight from the cover. If it is angled, remove and reinstall the tip until it is straight. Once properly installed, you may bend the tip as desired, but be careful not to make too sharp of an angle. When the procedure is finished, remove the tip and dispose of it in a biohazard sharps container. Reuse of tips will result in reduced laser performance and may damage the fiber or laser system. 
The iLays rechargeable battery easily attaches to the main body. The battery snaps in magnetically, and there is no need to twist or tighten it. Either side of the battery may be inserted into the main body. There is no positive or negative side. Once attached, you will use the black navigation button to control the system. The black navigation button has three positions. Up, down, and pressing in. Next, you will be asked to enter a key code to unlock the system. If you do not enter the key in time, the system will return to the BioLay screen. To return to the Enter Key screen, simply press the navigation button in one time. When you see the screen asking you to enter a key, press in the black navigation button three times quickly. After successfully entering the key, the iLays will ask you to select a procedure, which will be explained shortly. Also note that the LED is orange, meaning that the iLays is in standby mode and the laser cannot be activated yet. To remove power from the iLays, simply pull the battery out. This also serves as an emergency stop function. The iLays has 10 pre-programmed procedures and two extra custom procedures. Scroll through the preset names using the black navigation button, up or down, and then select your choice by pressing in. After selecting a procedure, the LED will turn green and the red aiming beam will come out of the tip. The iLays is now in ready mode, and pressing the finger switch will activate the laser. Please ensure that everyone in the room is wearing the appropriate eye protection. To check if the tip is properly attached, shine the aiming beam from a straight tip without pressing the finger switch onto a surface such as a tabletop. If the red aiming beam makes a pattern of a circle, the tip is connected properly. The laser can be activated only when the eye laser is in ready mode, which is noted by a green LED and the appearance of the red aiming beam. Any portion of the finger switch can be pressed and held to activate the laser. For safety purposes, the laser does not immediately activate when the finger switch is pressed. When you press the finger switch, you will hear an immediate beep tone, but the laser will not yet activate until you press the switch for approximately one-third of a second. When the green LED blinks and the beep tone pulses, the laser is activated. To stop the laser output, simply release the finger switch. After selecting a procedure, the iLays will ask you to initiate a tip in order to properly cut tissue. Touch the iLays tip to the surface of the initiation block without firing the laser. Now, fire the laser, allowing the tip to sink into the block. Count 1, 2, 3. Pull the tip out of the block. Count 1, 2. And stop firing. At this time, the tip should be out of the block. Fire the laser quickly into the air once. The tip should glow yellow-orange. During a procedure, there is a chance that the tip might lose its initiation. Repeat the tip initiation procedure if necessary. After tip initiation is complete, press in the navigation button once to continue with your procedure. Power can be adjusted during ready mode. First, make sure that you are not firing the laser. Then push the black navigation button up to increase power or push the button down to decrease power. The display screen will show the power level. Placing the iLays into standby mode allows you to adjust all parameters of the system, including power. The iLays cannot be activated during standby mode. To return to standby mode from ready mode, first make sure that you are not firing the laser, and then press in the black navigation button. When the LED becomes orange and the red aiming beam disappears, the iLays is in standby mode. To change pulse mode, first enter standby mode. Then push the black navigation button up or down until the pulse mode icon is highlighted. Then press the navigation button. In. The pulse mode screen appears, and pushing the navigation button up or down will present the three different pulse modes. Press the navigation button in to make your choice. To continue with laser activation, be sure to place the iLays into ready mode. For more information about the different pulse modes, please refer to your user manual. 
To change procedures, first enter Standby Mode. Then, push the black navigation button up or down until the name of the procedure is highlighted. Then, press the navigation button in. The Select Procedure screen appears, and pushing the navigation button up or down will present the different procedures available. Pressing the navigation button in will select the new procedure and also place the system into Ready Mode, as indicated by the green LED and the red aiming beam. Please ensure that everyone in the room is wearing the appropriate eye protection. Sleep mode conserves battery power by turning off the interface display and LED, and it also prevents laser activation. To enter sleep mode, first place the eye lays into standby mode, as indicated by the orange LED. Then, press in and hold the black navigation button until the display and LED turn off. To go back into standby mode, simply press in the navigation button. If you have changed the power or pulse mode of a preset and would like to save the values, first make sure you are in ready mode, as indicated by the green LED. Then press in and hold the black navigation button until the display shows saved. To enter the settings menu, first place the eyelays into standby mode. Then, from the main screen, push and hold the navigation button down until the settings menu appears. You may scroll through the different choices with the navigation button. To change aiming beam brightness, first enter the settings menu, then scroll to the aiming beam option and press in the navigation button. Pushing the navigation button down will dim the aiming beam, and pushing the navigation button up will brighten the aiming beam. To select the appropriate brightness level, press in the navigation button. To change languages, first enter the Settings menu. Scroll to the Language option and press in the navigation button. Then, scroll through the languages using the navigation button and then select your choice. From time to time, the iLays interface display may show an error message. Presented here are some suggested actions if an error message appears. For further details, please refer to your iLays user manual. If the finger switch is pressed while the system is in standby mode, you will see these symbols in the interface display. Releasing the finger switch will return the iLays back to normal operation. If this error message remains in the interface display while the finger switch is not being pressed, please call BioLays customer service or your local distributor. If the internal laser temperature starts to get hotter, you will see these temperature warning symbols in the interface display. Pressing in the black navigation button will clear the error and return the iLays back to normal operation. However, it is advisable to stop using the iLays and allow the iLays to cool down for a few minutes before using it again. Even as the internal laser temperature rises, the handpiece should not be too hot for human touch. If the laser overheats, it will stop operation, and you will see these symbols in the interface display. Allow the eye lays to cool down before using it again. Even if the laser overheats, the handpiece should not be too hot for human touch. When the eye lays battery is almost empty, you will see these symbols in the interface display. Pressing in the black navigation button will clear the error and return the eye lays back to normal operation. However, it is advisable to replace the battery with a fully charged battery as soon as possible. The battery that's almost empty should also be recharged in the charging station. For all other error messages, please stop using the iLays, remove the battery, and call BioLays customer service or your local distributor. You are now ready to begin using your iLays. The iLays is only the beginning of providing a whole range of dental laser services. With BioLase technology, you can also offer the total diode solution, including teeth whitening and pain relief with the EasyLase Soft Tissue Laser. For the most comfortable and precise hard and soft tissue procedures, our WaterLase All Tissue Lasers can often perform restorative procedures without anesthetic. The WaterLase C100 Hard and Soft Tissue Laser is an economical, entry-level laser for common restorative and pediatric procedures. 
And the Waterlays MD Turbo Hard and Soft Tissue Laser is the best of class solution for common and advanced restorative, periodontics, endodontics, cosmetic, surgical, and pediatric procedures. Welcome to the world of Waterlays Dentistry.